Hi guys! So here is the video that I have mentioned. I'm not just sure. I made another video before this one. What's in my dog's travel bag? Um, this is the second one that I'm posting. What's in my travel bag? So um, I haven't done any YouTubes in it's been like eight nine years was the last time I think or was it six years I don't remember one or the other but it's been a while so um, my husband suggested that I start vlogging again or posting YouTube videos again so I'm gonna start off with what's in my travel bag um, so this is pretty much it um, we're leaving for a week my craft interests have changed um, since my last videos. Before I used to do a lot of altering items like boxes and stuff like that, scrapbooking. Now um, I'm more, I got into planning for a while, hardcore planner <laughs> girl. Um, I had the three, the A5 three ring binder thing I, I, I went crazy um, but then about a year ago I met a friend of mine named Charlene hi Charlene and Clarissa hey. um, I met them and they introduced me to Hobonichi so now I'm completely obsessed with Hobonichi um, it's just so much simpler it's easy. I don't have to carry a lot. Um, it's more cost effective. And I'm finding myself not going to Michael's every single day now. I'm finding that I don't need a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, they've also introduced me to watercolors. Clarissa introduced me to watercolors. And I'm completely obsessed with watercolors now. So um, I'm very, very blessed to have met them both and blessed to have them as friends. So um, so let me go ahead and get started. I bought this bag. I love it. It's I needed something that was, um, how can I explain? I needed a bag that was easy to carry, had plenty of room, had pockets that I can carry because we're driving to Oregon. I wanted something that I can just carry in the front seat with me with all of my necessities. So I found this at Walmart for $18.88. Thought it was perfect. It screams travel. <laughs> so uh, I thought this was cute. So let me go ahead and let's get into the bag and see what's in there. So it does have um, one large zipper out in, in the top. Um, it has to a zipper in the front and then another zipper up here. So let's actually um, get into the zipper in the front. And this one, I'm carrying just some lotions um, just in case my hands get dry or something. So I have that in the front. I don't have much in the front pocket. More lotion. <laughs> I'm a little lotion obsessed. Um, so, and then in the second one, I'm hoping I'm in frame. So this is where I have all my watercolors and stickers. I still use some. Um, I use more of the stickers for my traveler's notebook. Uh, I'm going to explain my traveler notebook to you once I get into the bag. I have two separate ones. Um, one I keep for my travel journaling and the other one I keep for my planning. So um, I have these stickers and this beautiful, wonderful thing. Uh, you might see my, my dog. He's here with me. <laughs> so this is what um, Clarissa introduced me to for these watercolors. And these are just random papers that I kind of, I use to kind of brush off the old color so I can get to the new color. Um, so these are Jane Davenport. So this whole section is Jane Davenport. This is just a metal pencil case. Um, and Clarissa is the one that introduced me to doing this, which I totally love. Um, it's easy, practical, has two layers. It has enough to fit all of my watercolors and then some. Um, I've noticed I don't have like a soft pink. So 
I need to go out and buy soft pink. <laughs> but these are my Jane Davenport's, which I totally love. Very pigmented. Love them. And then these ones are just regular. I bought these little um, dish, little pans. They're the half pans. Bought them off of Amazon. I got 50 for like $8, I think. And then I went to Michael's and bought the um, liquid watercolor. Just squeezed them in there. And it looks just like acrylic paint, but it's watercolor. I went ahead and squeezed it in there and let them dry out. Um, they did come out cracked. I've never, this is the first time I've done this. Um, so they did come out cracked, but I read somewhere online and saw a video that you can add a little honey to the paint and it'll prevent it from cracking. I don't know, I've never done it before. Um, I'm happily content with them cracking. Um, I'm not rough with them and because of the fact that this disc it does close up and kind of keeps them contained they don't really move around much um, so I just thought it was perfect and I love it so I am I'm always showing this off <laughs> so I use this and I take this with me and easy and then I also have this which is the peerless watercolors which oh I love the peerless watercolors if you guys haven't um, haven't tried them you need to they are amazing so they are paper sheet water watercolors um, so this is a travel what is it travel palette um, so the travel palette comes empty let me see if I have a sheet that doesn't have any so I could show you I think all my sheets are filled um, yeah I think I have all my sheets filled yeah they're all filled but um, this is what they look like um, you know they're just like this with the names of the colors and then what you do is you, I have the sheets, you buy the sheets either by individual or we, they sell them in packs. Um, and then you just cut them and glue them on. And then that way you have all the colors with you in a little palette, which is convenient because, I mean, look at how many colors you can have in there. And it's all in one little notebook. They're not stapled together. Um, they do come with these clear sheets of acrylic or acetate and you put them in there that way like let's say for an example I use this one so it doesn't bleed into uh, the other color that's in front of it you put it in there to separate it I've never really had to use them because I pretty much just kind of leave them to the side and let them dry out and so I've never really had to use them um, but I love peerless watercolors I don't one thing is, um, I have a stationery store, um, had a stationery store, I should say, um, and we had to close it down for some um, family uh, situation with medical issues with my mother and, and everything like that. So, and things just wasn't working out the location that we were at and whatnot. Um, so, but now I sell on eBay. So, I have the Peerless Watercolors on eBay. I will post a link um, down in the description if any of you guys are interested in purchasing these Peerless Watercolors. Um, I can combine shipping if you like. And then it comes with this cute little clip that says Peerless Watercolors. So um, I have that, and that was from the pocket on the outside. And then I just carry along with me this little bag I got at Daiso, and I carry all my watercolor. Um, brushes. This isn't going to be a long video. I just totally realized it. <laughs> Might have to cut it up into parts. So, um, I bought these at, mm, forgot what craft store. I bought it at a craft store. I forgot. Aaron Brothers, I think. Um, so these are just watercolor. You put some water into the inkwell, into the bit well, and then just give it a little squeeze and then the water comes out and you just pull your colors. So I got that one and that one. I don't remember the brand. Pentel is the brand. And then I have the Primo ones. 
And then I have just some standard um, regular brushes. This I bought at Daiso. It's actually supposed to be for lipstick. Oh, pulled it the wrong way. It's actually supposed to be for lipstick, but it's like a travel um, brush. It's supposed to be for lipstick, but I use it for my watercolors. It's made out of horsehair. And I love it because it's practical and tiny. Um, so I picked that up for $1.50 at Daiso. So that is what is on the outside of the bag. Put that to the side. So now let's get in to the inside. I'm hoping I'm in frame. I really do. I can't see the top of my phone. So this is what I have on the inside. Um, we're driving. We're, we're in California. It's about a 10 hour 10, almost 11 hour drive to Seaside. Um, we're, we are going to stop midway, or well not midway, we're going to stop in Salem, which is about 8 hours away. So I made sure I brought enough goodies to keep me occupied. Um, one second. So I brought some Kleenex, of course, just in case, because lately my allergies have been acting up really bad. So um, we'll see. So I brought some Kleenex. And then my husband bought these for me. <laughs> They're headphones and I love them. I don't remember when it was that he bought them for me, but he bought these headphones for me. And the ears light up, so I thought it was really cute. So I brought my headphones. And then I brought a book to read. This is what I'm reading right now. Um, I love this series of books, they're really good. And then I brought my sunglasses, of course. They're my prescription sunglasses. And then I brought my charger to make sure I keep everything charged. And then my brother bought me this case. It's actually supposed to be for a camera, but I don't have a camera this size. I have a DSLR, so it's not gonna fit. But I found the perfect thing for it, which is my Sprocket HB printer. So I thought that was really neat that it fits perfect in there. So I brought this so I can um, print some pictures. So I have that. And then I brought the um, Rodai, I think it's pronounced. Um, just some graph paper. I use this sometimes. Um, I'll show you once I get into my Hobonichi what I use this for, but I use this sometimes. And then this is what I do. This is what I use my one of my travel notebooks for. Oops. So we're planning. So this is for my trip to Oregon. I haven't worked. I've been into Oregon a few times. I haven't worked on it, but I need to work it. On, work on it. But this is my Oregon book. And then this is for Washington. And I have some things that I need to add to it from when I went to Washington. Um, for my honeymoon, went on the ride a duck boat. That was really fun. Um, this is my Nevada, and we've been to Nevada several times because we live so close. But this is basically um, all I do. Um, you know, I use my sprocket, and I only use my sprocket for these. Um, I don't use it for anything else. But um, just a cute little, you know, a few notes and whatnot. So I have that one. And I have my California. I haven't finished decorating this, but I have my California one. And this is when we went to San Francisco, Bodega Bay, went to San Jose. Um, and then there's one in here from when I went to PlannerCon. So this one's really neat. I met Amy Tangerine and Erin Podrin. And then I have just a few little sticker things that I bought at Michael or Hobby Lobby. So, and then I have my bag of washi. Brought some washi with me. Um, date stamp, ink pad, some little post its. Um, oh, forgot to put this in there. Another washi. And then these I had just bought off of Amazon of, I got it Wednesday, and it's a pencil case. It says designed for arrangement. I don't remember the name 
the brand of it, but I will put a link in the description to it. Um, but it's so, so cute. It has a pocket here and a pocket there. And then, when you open it, this is what it looks like. So I brought this little water pan. Um, I have some colored pencils, some markers, um, some pens. My, these are scissors, which I bought at Daiso. They're really cute. Permanent markers, some extra lead, my pencils. And then I have some washi, some clips, some eraser, an eraser, and a correction tape. And then the back is bare. And they have different colors. They had blue, orange, black, and I forgot this green, and I think one more. So I bought that. And then I also got this one. And they match. So I thought they were really neat. And this one I have, I got this at PlannerCon. It's a little cat stamp, which I thought was really adorable. So I got that, and that goes in there. And I have some extra um, picture film. And then I got this at Daiso also, and I love this. It's an electric eraser, and it works really, really well. So I have that in there, and then I have a pencil. Uh, and then it has a pocket here and a pocket there. And then... It opens up like that. I bought these stickers at Michael's because I love pandas. And my Hovenichi. This is my Hovenichi. Um, I also have some water. Well, they're not, I guess, oh, they're acrylic, but I use these for my watercolors. Um, I bought this at PlannerCon this year. And I've been wanting one so bad. And shipping for, um, on the Hovenichi website was like $25. They were at PlannerCon, they were there in person. I was able to touch it, to fill it, figure out what size I wanted. This is the regular Hobonichi, and then they have the Hobonichi Cousin, which is a little bigger. And I felt like the bigger one was just too big for me. Um, I love the fact that this is just easy to carry. You can just toss it in your purse. I'm a little overprotective with my Hobonichi, and that's why I bought this to keep it protected and safe. <laughs> so um, I'm a little obsessed. <coughs> Excuse me. And then plus it kind of matches with this case. So, so yeah, I got this at PlannerCon. Um, and then I took, at PlannerCon, I took one of the Hobonichi workshop. So I got a Hobonichi Teco pin. And I love these pins right so nicely. So this is my Hobonichi. Um, this is what the inside looks like. I'm not too sure. I'm thinking the f it's facing this way, um, the camera. But I don't use this as a planner. I'm doing picture a, a picture a day for my Hobonichi, and since these are dated, um, it's the perfect thing for me. They're all dated, and you have this much space for one day. Um, so I didn't need all the other nonsense that was in the front. So what I did was I just went ahead and cut them out. So this is what I use my Hobonichi for. Um, I have the, even though it saves the date, I still stamp it. And that's why I have my stamp pad and my um, stamp, date stamp. And then I doodle. I just start, I didn't know I could draw <laughs> until I got my Hobonichi. And I realized, oh my God, I can draw. So this is what I do. And every day I take one picture, two pictures. Um, there's sometimes I have five pictures a day. And that's what I use this pad for. Because when I have more than, you know, three pictures, four pictures a day, I glue the picture to a piece of the graph paper and just do this and do like a little flip through. Um, so basically that's all I do and it's fun. I love it. I need to catch up. I'm barely in February. Um, so just finished January and yeah, I didn't know that I can draw and I can draw, <laughs> you know, um, there's a little doggy, a little poor doggy at the window when it's raining. So, uh, that's what I do with my Hobonichi. This is the back of it, which I totally love, and it has a little, I have pictures in there. And it has a pocket on the back. This 
plastic cover uh, is to protect this is fabric so it's to protect it and there's a little pocket here too so that's what I have in here um, and then the watercolors go here and I actually might not keep that there because they're getting bent uh, put those in there okay and there's two zippers to this pouch so there's two so there's that and then this is how I print my pictures I don't like using the um, sprocket for my Hobonichi because the sprocket paper is thicker and I just feel like it weighs everything down it makes it a little too chunky for me um, I, I like thinner paper so what I did is I just went on Amazon and bought some from Digi Orange. I bought some sticker paper. Um, I go into my Silhouette software because I own a Silhouette that I don't use, <laughs> but I use the software. So I went into I go into my uh, Silhouette software and just kind of throw the pictures in and size them to the size that I want, um, and then just print them out and then just cut them out and throw them on their sticky back. So I made some to take with me. That way um, I can work on my Hobonichi while I'm there. So there's that and I can catch play catch up by the beach because we're gonna be at a beach house. And then I brought my um, phone charger and a sticker book. And basically that's it. If I could, I would bring my whole craft room but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, like I said, I am in love with these. These are amazing. And I will link it down below in the description. Um, if there's any videos that you guys would suggest that you're interested in, or if you would like for me to get more into detail, come here baby, to get more into detail on some of my product, on the products I have, or if you're interested on um, purchasing some of the stuff that I have, uh, just let me know. I have a lot of, I used to own a stationery store, so I have a lot of planner stuff and stationery stuff and watercolors and whatnots. So, and I guess that's about it. I gotta go because my doggy's crying. Um, he wants to get out of the bedroom and I have the door shut. Oh, pumpkin. So, alrighty, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.